and the very run it. So whenever one of the dogs sleeps, we should see that the child tries to wake it up again, and there it is. So see this this listener, the seventh paradigm lets us uh, have multiple sources, lets us have multiple listeners. The listeners might be totally different from each other. They do they each do their own thing, and it works nicely to solve this component independence problem we had. And that concludes our uh, event paradigm tutorial today. So, if you have any feedback, this was my first tutorial. I want to try and do this a bit more regularly. And and if you have any feedback, I'd really appreciate if you leave it in the comments below. Also, um, I want to hear from you any suggestions which you which you think I should cover for our next sub for our next tutorial. Um, I, I want to focus more on intermediate problems rather than simple Java basics like, like don't I cannot do things like what is an if statement or how can I write a switch statement because you can easily find that on the internet. Now I want something a bit more like today's today's problem like these paradigms common problems we see in object orientation that sort of stuff. So leave your suggestions also in the comments below. I'll try to read them all. Thanks a lot and I hope you liked my tutorial. See you!